Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I just want to have a quick word on this PickQuick 6-Pack Plus screwdriver. Uh, this is a screwdriver that's made in Canada. Uh, pretty well known. I've always kind of ruled this screwdriver out, but I thought I should get it and try it out and, and be sure that it's something that uh, I might like or might not like. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, the, it gets its name 6-Pack Plus from the fact that it has six bits stored in the handle. Right here, all these hex bits. Uh, and the plus, I guess, is it has a bit that's stored uh, um, in the shank in the end here. So uh, you get seven bits total. It's a seven one screwdriver. So the idea is if you want to change the bit, it's got a number two Phillips in it right now. If I want to change that to a, a flat bit, I pull out the bit. I go and I look for, right here in this opening on the screwdriver, I look for the bit that I want. There's the quarter inch flat bit. I come down here to the end. I push through the bit that I already have out through the screwdriver, pull the quarter inch flat out, put it in, off you go. That's how you change the bits in this screwdriver. Uh, so I, I like the design. I like the screwdriver. Another major selling point um, is that this screwdriver, all the bits, because they have this hex and, and this design here on the end, they can go into any quarter inch impact driver and you can and use these bits in your impact. So it's a very, uh, very handy, very nice feature of this particular screwdriver. Uh, one thing I'd suggest if you get one of these is to uh, break it in. Um, I found I just sort of pushed all, went around the screwdriver and pushed all the bits through a few times, a couple times, to really loosen it up uh, because they really kind of were a little bit sticky at first. But to get it loose to where it's actually easy to change the bits, I would suggest running through it a little bit. Uh, the way the bits are retained in the screwdriver is a couple things I want to show here. Like I always thought that these bits in this particular driver the corners, I always thought the corners had to match up in the handle just like they do when you're putting a bit in, right? And that might be a bit of a hassle getting it lined up down here, but they don't. You can put these bits in, and to make my point here, you can, you can see I can spin this bit. So it's not like it's going into a hex-shaped hole that it has to fit exactly. The bits are retained in here by a small piece of black material there that puts some tension on the bit. I don't know if you can see in there. Uh, Little in that opening there, there's a little bit of a black piece of material in there that actually is what retains it, the, the bit. And then as the bit comes out, there is a bit of plastic here, clear or white plastic that you can see retains the bit. This bit right here that I'm pushing through is, is um, being held by it right now. So it pushes past that white plastic, bit comes out, and it's ready for use. It has a nice strong magnet here, and of course I guess it has, this could turn a quarter inch nut as well, I suppose. Uh, to, to tighten up nuts. So that's an extra feature, really, I guess you could say eight, eight tools in one. Uh, so I like the screwdriver. I think it's um, a nice tool, very well made. Uh, I'll just show here briefly the, uh, the packaging the screwdriver came in. Um, it came in this, uh, I bought it in a three pack, all right? And this is, uh, it was a little more economical to buy it this way versus just buying the screwdriver alone. Now, one thing that's interesting is the screwdriver used to be, you know, it's made in Canada. It used to be 100% made in Canada from what I can tell. But you can see here now they make a designation of the handle and shank are made in Canada, but the bits are made in Taiwan. So it's not 100% made in Canada now. And you can see the bit load out here. Uh, it's got times seven or seven bits in here that they're saying. It's got a, a Phillips number one, two, and three. It's got two square or Robinson bits. It's got one... Uh, size 15 Torx bit and two flat bits, the uh, 3 16ths and a, a quarter inch bit. So that's what it comes with. Uh, this also comes with a couple other, this Multique uh, screwdriver. Uh, these aren't standard quarter, quarter inch bits. They are uh, smaller bits. They won't fit in an impact in this screwdriver, but it's really just a, a screwdriver with smaller, smaller bit loadout, you can see. And they have even a smaller one here. Uh, they call the, uh, the, the, the Teeny Turner and uh, it's got it's a precision tool as you can see all these small bits you've got these double o and o phillips and and small um, um tech hex or uh, i'm sorry small torx uh, bits here so you know millimeter size uh, flat so it's a precision screwdriver pretty handy to have if you're going to buy it but the focus of course is on this screwdriver today just the idea of evaluating a a pick quick screwdriver in general uh, is what I wanted to do here. Now, what I ruled this screwdriver out in the past for, because I tried something similar, probably a Craftsman screwdriver or something, I just bought it and sort of checked it out. Uh, but what I didn't like was, if you use a screwdriver like this, let's say you're using it uh, one-handed, you know, you're just spinning it real quick. You can see it makes a fair amount of noise in the handle, 
right? If you're putting in electrical outlets or something like that, and you're just at the point where the screw is not tensioned and you're spinning it fast, it makes noise. Not, not uh, you know, unlike a, a regular, let's say this is a, a, a LUT 6-in-1 screwdriver. It can be bought at a local hardware store. It's where I got it. I think it was a True Value hardware store. This one, you know, when you go to spin this screwdriver, it's silent. No noise whatsoever, you know, in the handle. So that's one thing I really don't like about this screwdriver, and it's why... If it wasn't for that, I would probably say this is the best multi-bit screwdriver on the market. I mean, it's very well made. I think it's a great design. It's interesting. I understand it was first, the concept was first came up by an aircraft engineer, as I understand it. Uh, but for me, uh, a couple things I want to point out, like if you compare just how take, long it takes to flip bits, you know, if you compare how long it takes to flip bits like to this LUT 6 and one uh, let's say I want to change a bit in the pick quick. And I first I pull the bit, I find what I want here in the carousel. There's the quarter inch flat bit. I want that. I'm going to push that bit through after I find it. And I'm going to put that quarter inch bit in. Now that takes a little longer to me than, for example, if I want to go from number two to a number or a quarter, a quarter inch flat bit on this screwdriver. See how quick that was? Now you have to know this tool. You'd have to know where the bits are, have an idea where they're at on this LUT 6 and one standard common six and one screwdriver. By the way, they make, some of these are made by companies, they're not made as well. You can tell the tolerance aren't as well. I've seen some private labels where they're, you know, you, you can tell it's rattly. It's loose when you move it around in the bits, so be careful. I can only say that this Lutz is a good one in terms of my experience. I mean, it has the, uh, the sizes uh, engraved in the, uh, on the bits. The bits, I like the fact the bits are a little bit longer. You know, you can get, you're not, they're not so fiddly. And you can see they're recessed a little bit too, so. Uh, there's some recess here, so you could get into a recessed hole, and that's another drawback I'd say with this screwdriver. To me, is that you, you know, they they're hex shank, which is nice for an impact uh, uh, driver, but right here there's only a little bit of recess. As soon as you hit this corner, if you're going into a recessed hole, you know the screwdriver's not going to have the reach, uh, which is why most people I think reach for a standard screwdriver anyway. A lot of times it's, they can't get the reach they need out of a multi-bit screwdriver, so. And that's just all I really wanted to show with this screwdriver is that it's, I don't like the fact it rattles, but I felt, you know, really needed to cover this screwdriver because it has been talked about a lot. It's always sort of fascinating me as it looks like a, an excellent design. I like it. I think it's well made. I, I, uh, I just think if I'm, if I put it up against a standard six and one, uh, if I put it up against a standard set, let six and one to me, the, the six and one is just going to have the more common bits in it. And it's something that, you know, I can buy multiple six and ones, store them in different locations. But that's, that's just my view of it. Now, a lot of folks use a Klein 11 and one This is, happens to be the magnetic version of a Klein 11 and one so it has a little bit stronger uh, magnets in it, uh, a little bit more reach, too, in the way it's designed. Uh, and these, are, I think, are excellent as well. I still really like the LUTs, though, because, you know, a lot of times in these Kleins, when you flip to the, to the handle part of the screwdriver, the bits down here are less frequent bits that you would use, Torx bits or Robertson bits, things like that. They're just not as common for most people and, you know, to get that 11 count, that extra four uh, or, or five bits that they get in this uh, screwdriver, it's, they're, they're less commonly used bits. But still, I think this is an excellent multi-bit screwdriver as well, except, you know, you notice these bits are a little bit fiddly. They're small. You take them out, especially in cold weather, if you're trying to flip it around, you know, you could have a tendency to drop the bit or, you know, it's just a little bit small to be working with versus a, a standard six-in-one. You can see how big this bit is. Nice and big, get a good... Good grip on it, good handle on it, no real fear of dropping it, right? Especially when it's cold outside, right? I can flip that bit around pretty quickly, pretty easily um, in a cold environment and not be concerned about dropping it. Also, I really like the, the handle size of a standard six and one. You can see the handle is much smaller. The driver itself is much, um, um, you know, the, hand, the, the entire size of the screwdriver is much smaller of this LUTs. So, Another screwdriver I really like, and I've said this on the channel before, is the HVAC 8.1 from Klein. And I really like this screwdriver because it does have a nut runner on the end that's integrated where it goes from a quarter inch to 5 sixteenths with just a snap, right? Just a quick push of the shaft, you're going from two different sizes. And you can't beat that in terms of just sheer speed if you're running, working on appliances, things like that where you're running nuts. and It's just super handy. And then, of course, in the handle, it's got a lot of standard bits, you know. So... For me, when you're talking about the best multi-bit screwdriver, 
uh, it's really going to come down to a Klein or the Lutz. Here's a Mega Pro that I've talked about as 4.2 in the past. These are excellent screwdrivers if you need a lot of bits. But you can see the bits are in the handle. They carousel around. They're very nice. They're all engraved and labeled. There's lots of Torx bits in here. The selection's great. I don't think you can still buy this same Mega Pro anymore. But the point is, this is an excellent screwdriver if you want a high bit selection. Like you need to have a lot of bits on you. This is great. But it's not great, I think, for everyday use when you think about how long it takes to change a bit. You know, you go down here and you hunt for your bit. For example, let's say I want the Phillips size 2. I shut the carousel. I put the bit in. It's got a nice strong magnet. I mean, I can get there pretty quick. It happens to ratchet, but I'm not focused on that here for this video. Okay. But it, it's, um, it's got a, uh, if I want to change the bit, I have to pull the bit out, go back to the carousel. We have to put this original bit back. You know, at least that's the idea. I usually like to put it so the engraving's up so I can see the bit later on. So we get our bit back in here, and let's say we're going to switch to a common bit, like a, like a flat bit. I think it's got the metric numbers on here, but there's a equivalent to a quarter inch flat. We put our flat bit in, off we go. As you can see, that takes a little bit longer than just a quick change of a flip bit on this Lutz. That is just the speed of changing this bit makes this thing really ultra handy. Um, and to me is what makes it hard to beat a flipper screwdriver in general, like these two screwdrivers here. But with that, like I said, I just wanted to have a, a quick word on the Pick Quick 6-Pack Plus. I know it's very commonly used. I think it's an excellent screwdriver. I'm not saying it's a, a bad tool. Um, it's an excellent tool. I'm um, only saying that there's some other ones that I prefer. If you have different requirements, particularly if you want to use this bit in an impact, as I showed earlier, by all means, I think this is, this is the way to go. So it comes down to what your requirements are. Uh, but for me, I want, I want one-handed use where it's silent, especially if you're using this driver all day. I feel like that's a lot of noise there. If you're carrying it in your pocket, there's a fair amount of rattling going on and, and, and the heft of the screwdriver. This one, you know, this screwdriver is a lot heavier than this standard uh, six in one here. You know, it's this is a lightweight screwdriver, kind of hard to beat in terms of its, especially if you're carrying it in a bag and you're looking to cut weight. It's an excellent screwdriver for that. This one's got to be probably the heaviest multi-bit I've tried because it has these longer bits. I mean, it's understandable. But the Pickwick is an excellent screwdriver. I uh, just wouldn't say it's number one for me and what my requirements are. So just wanted to talk about the Pickwick screwdriver a little bit. I think it's an excellent tool. I think it's something that's been covered a lot, and it's very common. So I felt it was uh, important to, uh, to have a word on it. and wanted to try it out, not just say that I ruled it out until I've actually got in my hand and, and, and spent the time, some time with the tool. With that said, thanks for joining us today, folks in the shop. Uh, uh, please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. All those things help me to continue to bring content to this channel. And uh, with that said, uh, we'll catch you on the next video.